Has any one of those individuals who brought violence on this Capitol been brought here to answer whether they did that because of our president? Well, the Florida congressman caused more than 27 seconds of awkward silence uh, with that one question, and he joins us now to discuss. Uh, welcome, Congressman Mass. Thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. I'm glad to join you. And the fact is, it should have been awkward. That should be the most awkward moment for the United States of America to say, we're going to say that you caused another group of people to do something. We're going to vote on that in the body within our country that makes the highest laws of our land. But we're not going to ask any of those people why they did it, if they did it because the president said something or said something a year ago or didn't do it because of the president at all, or, or if they were planning to do it in advance. That should frighten every single American. That is the opposite of due process. Um, did you know it was going to be silent? I didn't suspect that they were going to have a good answer for it. I, I knew the answer in advance, and, and that's what's so sad about it. There wasn't a Republican or a Democrat that can say that, yeah, you know what, I had a chance to have hearings and hear those, uh, those individuals that sieged the Capitol explain that they did it because something was said on that stage, which was this, this, and this. That, that never occurred. Nobody was given the opportunity for real justice. That's how you know this was totally political. And justice has to be the pillar of our democracy, of, of our system. And that was robbed from every American yet again. Yeah. Uh, speaking of commitment to democracy, you voted no to certifying the electors. And yesterday, as the voting was still going on, uh, CNN host Chris Tapper brought that up and made this shocking comment about you questioning um, your commitment to democracy. What you're saying right now is relevant because Congressman Brian Mast, mm -hmm. a Republican from Florida who lost his legs, by the way, fighting for democracy abroad, mm -hmm. although I don't know what his, I don't know about his commitment to it here in the United States, yeah, uh, obviously Jake Tapper, but he deserves to be called the last name with comments like that. Uh, and you responded. I did respond. Mm -hmm. And it was to let him know, you know what? I I served this country. I fought for this country. I, I love this place more than anything. And, and that's could bring me to tears to, to think about some of the sacrifices I've seen for this country. And the fact of the matter is, it was so you can say what you want. If you want to say something I disagree with, you have the right to say that. But that that right, it extends to the Republicans that are being shunned for exercising their right of speech, for going through the, the, the constitutionally provided process to, to say whether we think there was something right or wrong that happened with electors in our country. That is the, the pillars of democracy. That's not a reason to question democracy that you went through. That to rubber stamp that would be a reason to question democracy, in, in my opinion. Cong and that has to be what we say to people. Yeah, you, you can say something I don't agree with. I don't agree with that at all. And, and I think you're opening a Pandora's box uh, of what people could say about other service members if, if you're saying... Well, if that's Brian Mast is a service member and he's wrong for doing that, then you're casting the same net on other service members as well. Um, and that's a dangerous box. To yeah. And by the way, thank you, sir, for your service and for the sacrifices you made for all of us. We appreciate it. Uh, what you've gone through here um, and, and including over the past week or so, I'm curious whether you feel you could still reach across the aisle on certain topics, on certain issues, and actually work with uh, uh, Democrats uh, on different legislation? Or d has there been such uh, bad uh, feelings created that that might not happen with anybody now? There's no doubt there will be things that have to get done and will get done. Um, they're, they're separated into, of course, individual committees within the House of Representatives. Um, and, and there'll be a lot of talking past one another. But I do not believe that the divisiveness is over. I'm going to do my absolute best to not be a part of it, to make sure that I'm telling people why I think something and, and not just what I think, to, to make sure that I'm starting sentences with because instead of I. Uh, I think that's 
something that we can do better as much as I started that sentence with I. But to, <laughs> to go forward on where I think we're on serious, dangerous ground here, knowing the knowing the squad and, and others and, and where they're going to try to move this. And, and I'm going to tell you something very dangerous. They're going to to take what's say in the last three pages of any national security questionnaire, which is. Have you ever been part of a group that has tried to overthrow the government, been a part of a group that has attempted to do this sort of insurrection or this sort of thing? It's basically your last three pages of what every federal contractor fills out, Capitol Police fill out, people with agencies like FBI, CIA. I filled it out within special operations. And they're going to try to get to the point that if you are a Republican or voted Republican, or registered as Republican, or had a bumper sticker on your car, or something else like that, mm -hmm. that you are considered a national security threat, or that you are considered lumped into that group of, of trying to overthrow the government, or, or something else. Right. And, and I promise you, that's where they're going to continue to go. And if they keep pushing in that way, there will be no ability to, to work with one yeah. another. Well, because we wanted to hear from him, that's why we were joined by Congressman <laughs> Brian Mass. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for yes. joining us, sir. Thank you for your service. Wish you the best. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.